Hello everyone. Welcome to the another lecture of uh, elements, compounds, symbols, and formula class six. Myself Suman Singh. So discussed about the formula and importance of formula, right? So today this class will be the last class of this chapter. Okay. So from next from the next lecture we will discuss about the another chapter it means we will start a new chapter which is a pure substance which is mixture and separation of mixtures right so now today we will discuss about the use and use of different elements and compound on the basis of their properties okay so what we have seen we will see what is written here only so we have seen that we know that there are different type of elements and compounds right and they consist of different types of atoms and molecules right in case so many example we have also seen that right but the different kinds of matter different from one another in their property we have seen that h2o has different property co2 has different property or we can say h2o2 has different property hcl has different properties right means different kinds of matter differ from one another in their property okay so this difference in their property forms the basis of their use in our daily life okay this difference of this of their properties forms the basis for the of the of their uses in our daily life okay for example one example is given here for frying pan we have seen frying pan in our house also right so this frying pan is made up of steel right but the handle is made up of wood or plastic right so why it is happening like this because we know that steel is what steel is a good conductor of heat right but when we talk about the wood and plastics it is a bad conductor of heat right so we know that because steel is what is a good conductor of heat and it allow the heat to pass through the food kept in the pan for cooking right but while the plastics or wood which we are using as an handle they are what bad conductor of heat right or we can say insulator and do not get too hot to burn out our hand right that is why we are using this because if the this will this handle this handle will also be if it, if it if this handle is also steel at that time what will happen our hand will burn right so that is why we are using here what plastics or wood because plastics and woods are bad conductor of heat right so they do not allow the heat to pass through them but when you talk about this steel they are good conductor of heat right so this was one of the example one example so now today now we will see some of the substance and their uses so first is gold platinum and silver i hope gold uh, everyone of us has seen the gold in our home and right so these are what gold uh, platinum and sil silver are what they are lustrous means they used to shine right and they are shiny and look very attractive i hope we all of you have seen that right and uh, what they used to they are they can also remain in free state as we know that this gold platinum and silver they are very poor conductor of they are, they are, they are very unreactive right like inert gases they are also called inert metal okay because they generally do not react with any other elements okay so that is why they are they are found in a free state okay and they do not turn is in air means just like the iron if you will leave iron in a open air for some days you will see that there will they be they, it will in one reddish or we can say reddish brown color layer used to cover that iron right but in case of this gold platinum and silver it is not like this they will do not turn this easily they will be remain in the atmosphere as it is because they are very inert or we can say they are very unreactive okay so therefore these metals are used in a you know, used to make jewelries right because of this property they are used they are used to make jewelries now next is copper and, and aluminium so when we talk about the copper and aluminium so copper is what it is also a good conductor of heat and electricity we have seen our in our home we have seen our the utensils of copper and also we have seen the wires in the wire we used to use copper wire we have seen right why they are we are using this because they are good conductor of heat and electricity okay and one more property is that they can be drawn into a wire as i have already told you and can be beaten into a sheets right 
now therefore they are used to make utensils electric wires etc what i have already told you right now next is copper has so uh, in so many other uses also they can be mixed with the metals like zinc or tin to produce a mixture like brass and bronze right so we have uh, brass is what this is an what we can say this is a mixture of this copper and zinc and bronze is what it is a mixture of copper and tin like this right they use in these two metals are mixed together to make a better or improved quality of an uh, or improved quality of another metal okay so copper can be mixed with the metals like zinc zinc and tin to produce a mixture of brass and bronze right which are stronger and durable now next is they are used to make a statues utensils door and door knobs handles machines mark part tapes electric fittings etc right we have seen so many copper uh, copper handles also machines in machines part also copper has been used you will see a best example of copper in our fan the fan which we are using in our home there also you will see that when you will open that uh, fan and there you will see there the coil is made up of copper okay now next is iron we know that iron has lost of uses in our daily life iron is one of the most useful of all metals we know that it is why because it is very stronger and easily available right therefore it is used to make a heavy tools and machines okay next is diamond diamond is not a metal first of all it is not a metal it is actually a non metal okay but uh, <clears throat> we have seen that diamond is what it is the hardest naturally occurring substance or we can say hardest non metal okay and uh, it shines brilliantly and a pure diamond is used in a, as a gem while the impure diamond is used to cut glasses okay what glasses etc right but diamond is not a metal okay now next is graphite graphite you have seen this is also a non metal but it is a this is a, a non metal which conduct electricity graphite the best example you will see in our pencils which the pencils which we are using the black one that is what this is a graphite okay so graphite can can make the paper black it is used in the to make a lead of the pencils we have already seen that right and it is also used for making lubricants okay now coal wood and natural gas we used to use in our home right coal we used to use we used to use wood we used to use right so this coal wood and natural gases burn to produce what lots of heat energy okay and hence they are used as a fuel right they are what, what we are using we are using coal wood and natural gas as a fuel right because they generate lots of heat energy now next is water we know that water is a very important sources for human right if there will be no water then no human or no plant will exist right so water is considered as what the universal solvent okay it carries dissolved substances around the around in a blood in animals and as a shape in plant right it is used for the preparation of solution of medicinal or industrial importance it has various other uses in our daily life we cannot define the uses of water because there are so many uses of water is there plastics this is a non conductor and it is a very dangerous substance we should not use plastics okay we should avoid the using of plastic but there are some importance also there are advantages of plastics are also there first advantage is it is is non non conductor okay and it is used as an insulator okay there are different type of plastics there are so many different types of plastics are there okay and the plastic materials used for making bags shops bowls beds tires pipes unbreakable utensils right and non sticky cookware we it is made of what plastics only right and uh, we should first uh, since this plastics is a very dangerous and it's uh, it has hazardous effect on our nature or our earth okay so we should avoid using the plastics okay now next is sand sand is what it is a compound used to prepare glass in a glass in the preparation of glass we used sand okay now next is argon and neon this is what they are noble gases okay we have discussed about the noble gases right these are the gases which do not generally react with any other element but it has lots of use as you can see a noble gas such as argon and neon is filled in the electric bulb due to the inert due to its inert nature it does not react with the tungsten filaments of the bulb to prevent 
it from destruction we have previously we have seen the yellow ball right they are used to use their argon now we are using that yeah, white balls there we are using neon right so these are why we are using this because the tungsten wire which we are using in a bulb you have seen the bulb like this right the design of the bulb is something like this right let me draw it nicely the design of the bulb is something like this right like this so here you have seen that one filament is there right like this filament is there so this is made up of tungsten okay tungsten and here this neon or argon gas is filled because neon and argon gas will not react with this filament which is called tungsten okay so i hope you have understood this and when we talk about the diamond and graphite and coal are different form of different form of elements of carbon this diamond graphite and coal is what they are type of carbon okay so i hope you have understood this chapter right so from the next class we will start another chapter okay till that thank you